I don't know what's really in this package. I've got quite a bit of stuff on order. Maybe I'll take a look at it. One of the things I had on order were some 10 megahertz crystals. And these are marked 10 megahertz. ITT. These are the 10 megahertz uh, ITT crystals. 750 a piece. Maybe a fraction more. And the seller was Kingpin627. Here's those ITT crystals on the spectrum analyzer. They're marked 10 megahertz, which is again indicated by marker 1. The peak frequency, the uh, parallel resonant frequency, is actually 995 I don't know whether to try them in the circuit or wait a couple of days for DigiKey to uh, arrive. But that's sort of interesting. Here's the C, what were they? CTS MP100s. They're not what's specified, but they are what I used. You can see how much closer the peak is to 10 megahertz. And of course these result in a bandpass that was shifted well above 10 megahertz. Well that's a little bit of wasted time. This is the 10 megahertz IT and T crystals. And you see 10 megahertz is here so we're still outside the bandpass. Let's look at the peak which is 9.8 998904 megahertz. Close, but no Wio because here is ten megahertz. Now this is a, a minus eighty dB input. So I have 40 dB of gain there, or close to it, but I still haven't met the bandpass window. So I guess I'll wait for DigiKey. The crystals specified for this receiver, for the 10 megahertz configuration, uh, Y1 through Y4, are CTS MP101s. 10 megahertz parallel crystals and here's the Mauser part number and you can see it's an MP101 this probably is something to do with Mauser the crystals I used and I didn't know this because I didn't look at them were actually CTS MP100s I went to Mauser's site and I either had a hard time finding this part number or maybe it was out of stock. I think I went to DigiKey. I found a CTS MP101. I ordered a set of uh, actually I actually ordered 10 crystals in the 10 megahertz and I ordered 10 crystals in the uh, 5 megahertz. The 5 megahertz crystals, uh, Y1 through Y4, are CTS MP05A. I think I also ordered a set of these from uh, DigiKey. They're 75 cents a piece. I actually don't know where I got these crystals. 
I found them in my junk box. Until I sat down to make this video, I didn't realize this. The crystals I had on hand, they're going to use to build the 5 megahertz amplifier. Look at this. They are CTS MP05A. Exactly what's specified. I had these in my junk box. Who thought it? I'm guessing I'm just going to build the 5 megahertz unit and look at the bandpass provided by it. I finished the 5 megahertz version of the receiver. Uh, it looks very much like the 10 megahertz version. There's two transformers, same as on the 10 megahertz. I did have to substitute some silver mica capacitors. I've got the correct crystals. The 5 megahertz has a matching transformer in and out. One end of these transformers connects to the board. The other leads are just flying. And I super glued the transformer body to the board. Actually, I'll slide this back to show you the flying leads. It went together the same as the 10 megahertz version. No problems, nothing. I've got the same setup uh, as before. It's a minus 80 dB input signal. You can see the output is minus 40. So that's 40 dB of gain. This is a setup for the 5 megahertz one. So your center frequency is 5. And this cursor is at 5. And you see that 5 megahertz is centered in the bit in the peak. It's a little wider in the low frequency than high, but that's fine. These two notches, let's take a look at them. Well, let's look at the peak again. It's minus 40.7 decibels. This little ditzy down here is at minus 81 changes every time it sweeps, but it's around minus 80. Same little difficulty over here is around minus 76. So that's a nice narrow band pass. A nice filter. It helps to use the right components. So I guess I'm going to wait for the DigiKey package and install the correct crystals in the uh, 10 MHz version and see if it centers the bandpass up the way it does on the 5 MHz.